सो आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज वॉयजेस ऑफ डिसकवरी द न्यू फाउंड माइंड सेट ऑफ इनक्वायरी इनकारेज स्पिरिट ऑफ एडभेंचर एमंग द पीपल एंड हुईच प्रमटेड देम टू अंडारटेक वॉयजेस ऑफ डिसकवरी एंड थ्रू एक्सप्लोरिंग द ओशियन एंड डिसकवरिंग द अन लैंड सो देर वॉज ए ट्रेडिशन इन वन वन टू वॉयस जेस ऑफ डिसकवरी ओके दे वॉन्ट टू अंडारटेक voyages of discovery and while some individual explorers wanted to gain fame or experience adventure the major reason for expedition expedition was to discover new trade routes okay they always try to discover new trade routes and many voyages of exploration were sponsored by the monarchs of various european nation and these voyages exploration were sponsored they are sponsored by some monarchs of various european nation okay with the capture of constantinople by ottoman empire many existing trade routes of india and china went shut down were shut down okay because new routes are actually originated this this trade routes were essential as they brought valuable and expensive products such as spices and ski, silk from the east so in the eastern part where the availability was of spices and silk and this was very expensive and the new voyages marked an attempt towards discovering new ocean routes to india and the far east the explore exploration were facilitated by the invention of the magnetic compass so the exploration was easy after the innovation of magnetic compass and by other factors such as development in sailing so that some development is happened with in sailing and navigational science are developed and the construction of huge ships and development of cartography this was the helpful for the explore, exploration and important discoveries so the beginning of the age of discovery is associated with the portuguese prince henry the navigator who sent out navigational ships to explore and map the west coast of africa in the 15th century at first henry the navigator he introduced several ships and some maps for the exploration and in 1488 portuguese explorer bartolomeu dias sailed around africa reaching the indian ocean from the atlantic he was the first european explorer to reach the southern tip of africa and this place was named as the cape of good hope this place those are originate which place is explored by bartolomeu dias the name is cape of good hope as it gave further hope to the explorers to find the route to india okay a decade later in 1498 vasco da gama another portuguese explorer crossed the indian ocean following the same route and reached calicut on the western coast of india so after some time in the year 1498 vasco da gama also reached in india in the part of calicut and this route later became an important trade route in india and far east next is christopher's Christopher Columbus an Italian explorer living in Spain thought he could reach the east by sailing west across the Atlantic Ocean and under the patronage of the king and queen queen of Spain he set sail westward from Europe and he discovered the Bahamas in the Caribbean in 1492 and this paved the way for future journeys across the Atlantic okay this way one by one routes are evolved okay and columbus believed that he had discovered the route of the east and however he had in fact discovered the new world of the america meanwhile amerigo vespucci from florence reached the northern land and realized that it was not the east but rather the new world or new fourth continent which came to be known as america okay americas after the discover the main pioneers of the age of discovery were spain and portugal they gave, gave the lots of effort for the discovery
the space the spanish seeking gold and wanting to spread christianity organized a band of soldiers called conquistadors and who set out the conquer new territories they are called as conquistadors and they were the led by Her hernan Cort cortes and who landed at yucatan peninsula of central america okay and he took over the present day mexico and systematically massacred the people of the indigenous civilization of the incas okay so he took over the present mexico and systematically ma massacred the people of indigenous civilization of incas okay the mayas incas the mayas and the agitex agitex and established the spanish america the portuguese also quite accidentally happened to discover brazil and went on to conquer the religion under the leadership of pedro cabral in 1500 cabral and his men had originally been sent by the portuguese monarch to find a route to india but instead they landed on the coast of brazil they also able to find found the another route for going to the india okay and with the discovering of new trade routes and new lands there was growth in the wealth of the trading communities in many european countries and this led to encourage emergence of a strong wealthy class of merchants in this way merchants are also was very strong in their activity and though the voyages the european discovered many hitherto hitherto known land unknown lands okay many hitherto those are called as unknown lands and the exploration of this unknown lands further marked expansion and colonization of the new world india and the far east next is reformation in the medieval period the religious life of the people in europe was dominated by the roman catholic church the church was very powerful and head of the church the pope pope was the head of the church and they were they was very powerful was an absolute authority and no one could question or oppose the teaching of the church okay all the people they are supporting they are supported the teaching of the church and those who did were accused of blas blasphemy and labeled as heretics heretics okay and they faced terrible punishment if they are accused the teaching of church then they were punished the roman catholic church had the ultimate monopoly over the education in most of the europe the members of the church the clergyman and priest indulged in worldly pursuits which included gaining wealth and political power and thus the church became very wealthy and powerful and church officials and clergy became corrupt next is reformation movement the reformation or protestant reformation refers to a movement that started in europe so this is one kind of protestant movement and with the aim of reforming the roman catholic church they want to reform the roman catholic church and it started in germany and rapidly spread across the europe and it was a reaction against the increasing absence abuses and corruption in the catholic church because there was the corruption in catholic church that's why they try to reform the roman catholic church and the reformation focused on the teaching of the bible as the sole source that could reveal the truth and the movement aimed at questioning everything that was based on blind faith and bring in rationally to the lives of people in europe causes of the reformation what was the causes what are the what were the causes that first one is the renaissance the emergence of renaissance incul inculcated values of secularism and humanism okay there was the values of secularism and humanism and which challenged the church authority emphasis was laid on having a personal relation with god and religion rather than a ritualistic one they believed in 
God and religion rather than ritualistic one. The spirit of rationalism and inquiry led people to judge the doctrines of the church against logic and reason. The invention of the paint printing press helped spread the revolutionary ideas of Renaissance far and wide. The Bible was translated to regional languages and common people could read and interpret it. Because before this there was the Bible but the any normal man or uh, the general man they cannot read it. And after the translation of Bible into the regional language they can able to read it and they can interpret it. And criticism of Roman Catholic Church. The Catholic Church was criticized for being corrupt and immoral. This was very immoral in nature. The clergyman failed to meet the church's spiritual needs the rather and rather indulged in worldly pleasures and claimed political power. Many church officials used their official positions to enhance their career and wealth. Brevity was rampant and many church office officers were sold and monasteries owned vast stretches of land in Europe. The church started the practice of selling indulgence or certificate of pardon by God for sins to people as means of salvation or the door to heaven. So there was a practice of salvation or this is called as door to heaven. The Catholic Church also lived various taxes such as Tithe. So Catholic Church they also charged with some taxes which were compulsory for all Christian in Europe. So they demand a tax which was known as Tithe and this was compulsory for all the Christians in Europe. And next is writing of early reformers. Throughout the history of the Catholic Church there were many reformers within the Roman Catholic tradition and in late 1300 and early 1400s John Wycliffe of England and John Hus of Bohemia had advocated reforms in the church in the 1500s or 1500s. Christian humanists like Desiderius Erasmus and Thomas More further critic critiqued the abuses of the church authority. They also stressed about the they also stressed about the demates of the church they also criticized and however these early reformers sought reform within the catholic church and did not wish to break away from it and though their ideas did prepare the base of reformation next is rise of strong rulers decline of medieval federalism led to emergence of strong monarchs across europe who challenged the church supremacy and many rulers viewed the pope as a threat and challenged his authority and they wanted to break away from the holy roman empire and its control and they resented taxes lived by the church and that went to rome so rise of strong ruler the another some rulers also emerged okay so this was the causes of reformation and next is role of martin luther what was the role of martin luther so martin luther a german monk was instrumental in bringing about the reformation movement and luther raised objections regarding several practice of the catholic church he at first object uh, create the objection regarding the practices of catholic church and the supremacy of the pope and he was particularly soaked by the sale of indulgence in 1570 luther wrote his 95 thesis so in 1570 Luther wrote his 95 thesis and pinned it on the door of the local church and he indic indicted the church for its corruption attract the ritual and indulgence that had no sanct sanctity in the Bible and asked his followers to believe in God without relying on the church and Luther advocated that salvation could be achieved by faith alone and thus for Luther Luther, 
the bible was the only source of truth so he believed that that bible is the only source of truth and final authority rather than the church so so church actually used the bible for the as a corrupted way okay so but when the general people they realized that that church actually they not followed the bible properly then they their believed also move out from the church and soon thousands of copies of the 95 thesis were printed as spread to all parts of germany and this luther's thousand copies are sold and his action began to reformation a movement of for religion religious reform by 1520 and luther began to mark a definite break from the catholic church luther able to break down the catholic church activity and he called upon christian churches to reject the pope's authority and he attracted attracted other rituals and practices of the catholic church including the system of sacraments the church was out outraged by luther's action and demanded that the either he either withdraw his views or risk ex- excommunication luther stood fearless fearless and refused to withdraw his remarks luther was char- changed charged with her heresy and excommunicated by the pope in 1521 and later on the di- direction of the pope the german emperor charles v summoned luther for his trial at the trial luther stood firm and thus was declared as an outlaw and heretic and all his books were burned okay in that time all his books were burned and meanwhile many ruling groups in germany started supporting luther and saw this as an opportunity to break away from the roman catholic church and by his return to wittenberg in 1522 many of his ideas were already being put in practices okay and a separate national german church the lutheran church was established so the general people they realized that the luther's voice is actually truth and after that they created some lutheran church okay and they are uh, these are established and free from the control of the roman church they are have not any kind of control of roman church and its followers came to know, came to be known as protestants and they are known as protestants those are under lutheran church and there were violent clashes between the catholic and the protestants because the protestants always uh, do all the activities against the catholics and the kings who wished to escape the dominance of the catholic church started supporting the protestants and persecuted the catholic in their areas and luther's idea were popularized in switzerland by ulrich zwingling zwingli and the french by jean calvin in england king henry 8 formally broke away from the catholic church and established the church of england next is impact of reformation what was the impact of reformation the reformation had a lasting impact though its religious political and economic effect it sets the stage of the modern period of europe you know in europe the church split into two faction catholicism catholicism and protestantism there was religious turmoil in many states which often led to wars within the states as well as between them and there was religious intolerance and persecution of protestants in catholic states and catholics in protestant states so there was a intolerance and persecution of and leading to migration to other areas and reformation also eventuated eventually led to the evolution of nation states as several states broke free from the control of the catholic church and these rulers took complete change of their empire and the people owed allegiance only to their rulers okay people owed allegiance only to the rulers and this led the foundation of nation states and based on common culture language or history governed by ruler and all these things are based on common culture language or history and governed by the ruler next is counter reformation 
what is counter reformation in response to protestant reformation movement many catholic called for a movement within the roman catholic church to reform itself they also some reformation also done in between the catholic church and this movement came to be known as counter reformation and the important leaders of this movement were reformers who took action to reform and renew the church from within the church reformed itself by going back to its foundation foundational tenets of spirituality training priests in classical studies theology and laying emphasis on a spiritual life the catholic church sent its missionaries around the world to bring people within the folds of christianity and they also attempt to stop the spread of protestantism protestantism terrorism and the council of trent passed sweeping decrees decrees on self reformation within the catholic church so catholic church sent its missionaries around the world okay to bring people within the folds of christianity and they also attempt to stop the spread of protestant because after the counter reformation they are uh, also changed their uh, problems and by this way they are also able to spread the their christianity and they can able to stop the spread of protestants